Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So I was kind of unprepared as to making the last parts and I was going to do a random gameplay which I also would be unprepared for. <laughs> so it's a good thing that I forgot about something that I wanted to do, isn't it? So I, what I wanted to do here, and I, I can't believe I forgot about this, is remember I was saying that I would like to see how the match would be between a character that I'm comfortable playing versus ye all star DK and maybe even on the Marion course because they seem to shoot their best on there <laughs> so yeah I think I've got to satisfy my bit of curiosity here before this walkthrough ends I guess I gotta put this in a random gameplay video but I think it would have lost context in there <laughs> At least not without explanation. It would just be kind of like, you know, I'm doing this gameplay to see what Ella's, I mean, how Ella would be against Donkey Kong because of the walkthrough. And it's like, well, wait, what, which which part of the walkthrough was it? If you know, like, if you're not following the walkthrough and you just came for a random gameplay video, it's like, well, now I gotta look through the, <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. I figured it's best to just include it in the regular walkthrough part and it'll be probably a demonstration as to just how well you can play against the best computer players as long as you've got a, a character that's suited for you I guess you could say. Uh, oh, slight miss hit there. I wanted it to, because it's going to go high and drop soft, I wanted it to kind of roll out and maybe go in the hole. That would be pretty ideal. Oh look at that. Oh! <laughs> the reason why I went for it was because there's no wind, so uh, otherwise it would be kind of dicey and I, I prefer to just backspin it nice and close to the hole. Uh, otherwise when there's no wind I have a pretty good chance of getting it in, especially when I got such a high impact and control area. So yep. Yeah. And Donkey Kong, uh, not looking so hot is he? <laughs> oh jeez, I hope this won't be a waste. But we'll see. And backspin the control it so it doesn't go in front of the trees. Preferably. It should be good. Yeah, I, I didn't think it would roll out that much. I just wanted the, it to be in a decent position. I just didn't want to be on a slope or anything like that, you know. Just, just in case. <laughs> uh, that's going to be in the bunker. Yep. Because it's going to hit the rough. And it just slows down, but with adaptable AI, anything is possible. <laughs> this looks good. <laughs> See, never count out the adaptable AI. Although that's not as close as it could have been. I'll show how it's done. <laughs> I'll try and drop it somewhere around there and backspin it, preferably in the hole! <laughs> nah, I'm not really going for the hole. It's mainly just the flat spot up over there. Yeah, there we go. See how easy that is when you get the hang of it. <laughs> Will he make it? He did! <laughs> okay, so there's a little bit of hope of DK playing well. Still. Sort of. <laughs> Alright, so it's not going to be a complete shutout. But it may as well be, probably. <laughs> um, I'm not sure how I should play this one. I think I'm going to go there and a little bit of backspin. Because there's not that much wind direction and angle. It's more about the wind being in my face. Yeah, so I, I just wanted to bounce it up to where the hole was and control its landing. And DK is up to the plate. T-Box really. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he gonna get into that loop of when computers go on that high slope? They kind of hit the ball repeatedly on that slope over and over because no, he's not. <laughs> he is gonna leave himself short though because the wind. Uh, remember I was talking about that the wind makes the ball go backwards if it goes really high up like that. And that's an example of it. Yeah, at least if the wind is strong enough to do that. Uh, a little smidge over to the left, obviously. And let her up. Woo! Sorry, DK. It's just not your day. <laughs> yeah, so I, I was figuring that this would happen in that 
because I, I was playing with unfamiliar characters before that I wasn't able to utterly sweep Donkey Kong. <laughs> well, I think I got my- oh, I was gonna say, I think I got myself in the semi-rough there. Thought the rain was gonna hold it back a little more, but Topspin really got it zooming. But yeah, um, it doesn't appear as if, if if I'm gonna be using a character that I'm, you know, that's set for my needs and it's just, you know, I'm used to playing at it. I don't think any computer in the game stands a chance. <laughs> Maybe they would if it was like a club slots thing or something like that, and they got really lucky on whatever g gets pulled on the slots, but. I wouldn't count on it! <laughs> okay, so DK didn't make the green, and I got a really tight pin location here, so I probably won't either. But what I can do is maybe, just maybe, hold on to it with backspin. <clears throat> that's not ideal. That's as that's probably as good as being off the green because it's so far away. <laughs> Especially in the rain where it's it's, it's not something that you're really all that used to. Oh, look at that! Maybe it won't be a complete sweep. Holy poopers! <laughs> Alright, a smidge over to the left. And a lot past the mark because of the rain. Not enough. See, that's what I meant about it's as good as being off the green. So look at that! DK's got some fight in him. Probably not that much fight, though. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he does here. Yeah, I think no matter how he miss hits it or hits it, it's gonna be somewhere playable for him. Actually, maybe not. <laughs> I was thinking because it's pretty wide open there, but you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of one up him by uh, playing it back, nice and safe. <laughs> I don't want to get into any trees myself. He kind of kind of psyched me out with where his ball is lying, so I'm gonna just take them out of the equation. And then drop and stop, I suppose. Yeah, something like that. And, well, it's more like drop and pull back, since she's got a lot of spin at this moment in time. But, at least with the, the lower lofted clubs. I mean, the higher lofted clubs, excuse me. Mm -mm. Oh, I sense hitting backwards coming now. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, that's out, I guess. But if you're gonna hit through the trees, you better hit with like a wood or something like that to power it through to try and make the green. <laughs> like, remember I showed you that before, where if you hit through the trees hard, you'll be able to get the ball out to come in usually a better spot than if you were to hit backwards, as long as you know how the trees react. <clears throat> I think that the computers, you know, given that the, you know, they're, they're actually in the game with all the programming and stuff, they, they probably, in theory, should know how the trees react. <laughs> Especially since they can pull off some really crazy shots at times. But anyway, I'm back to two up, and I'm gonna top spin past all those trees over there, which sounds like gonna be a you know, winner. You are a winner. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, all I wanted to do is get past that uh, front tree mainly, because the other tree that's currently in my line I can just hit right over. Uh, might be a little bit uh, more awkward IRL if you were to do that, <laughs> if you're intimidated by hitting over a tree. But uh, that is a, a alternate tactic that you can use, is that just, you know, put yourself in good position and just hit over where whatever is in your way just by sheer trajectory. I've seen people sometimes hit the fairways of different holes and then hit back to the green on the hole that they're actually playing to actually give themselves the best chance for a low score. Because the, the hole that they're supposed to be playing is actually harder to play than the other hole that they're hitting to. Get it? <laughs> it's pretty clever, really. But in Mario Golf, you know, you can't really do that because anything outside the boundaries of the hole is considered out of bounds. But uh, in IRL, the only thing that's out of bounds in courses is, is the actual outer edge of the course, the, like the property line, I guess you could say. So it, 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 uh, there's uh, a lot more that you can do IRL in ter terms of using the course. Although I wouldn't recommend that you hit to 
a different fairway that you're not playing if someone else is playing that hole. <laughs> For obvious reasons. So uh, if, if you have that plan, uh, maybe wait for them to move out of the way before you take their shot, or just play the hole normally and take its challenge at face value. Anyway, this is Mario Golf, not IRL Golf, so let's just focus on that. <laughs> Although, there is some interesting stuff coming for the uh, uh, Rules of Golf IRL, or at least proposed changes coming for IRL Rules of Golf. Uh, a lot of stuff that'll make a lot of bogus penalties non-existent, basically, you know. Like, uh, you know that thing that happened at the U.S. Open where uh, Dustin Johnson hit his... or I mean, they thought he hit his ball on the tree at the U.S. Open, and yeah, and he got penalized for that. That wouldn't be a thing <laughs> with the new rules, because it'll be a thing of that you gotta be... R relatively certain that it is caused by the player to be moved, not not just like oh you address the ball, it moved, you're penalized. No, 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 no that's uh, that's gone. <laughs> it's also the thing about um, that you'll be able to ground your club in a hazard as well as uh, removing junk from a hazard, uh, which is if you think about it is a lot more fair <laughs> because. Because <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of stuff that you might not want to really hit under your ball in a hazard, i.e. rocks <laughs> or something like that. I should say behind or under your ball or, you know, something that you would normally be able to... Well, actually, you couldn't move it if it was under your ball, per se, unless the ball... Uh, like you're able to lift and move the ball or something like that, but I, I mean that ju just the stuff, the debris that can be around the b b ball that like, can damage your club or whatnot. And so, <laughs> so I don't know why I said under the ball, but some, I'm more, I'm talking more like directly behind it or something that would be in your line of swing. So yeah, it's looking bright for the rules of golf, but unfortunately. Mario Golf plays by the old rules <laughs> for for all of eternity, as it is a game that has been already made and set into the ages. But that does have a way of making it so that you can play by the old rules anytime you like. And this is gonna be offline because my miss hit. That's okay. So yeah, it is nice to have uh, multiple ruling options in your games then, because after uh, the, the change... well, actually those sorts of rules changes probably wouldn't affect Mario Golf, because there's no such thing as the ball moving at rest and all sorts of physics, and yeah, <laughs> you know, that, that doesn't really happen in the games, but you get what I'm saying here, and that any rule that they propose and it actually puts into play that would change stuff that would actually change the rules in Mario Golf games will be implemented probably in future Mario Golf games, or they'll play by their own rules. <laughs> because it's Mario Golf! Uh, I'm gonna go with a rather low shot. Not gonna do a power shot here, and just control its rollout with some spin. The reason why is I wanted to get it, yeah, to that upper shelf. And there we go. How do you like those apples, DK? Or how do you like those bananas? One of the two. One, of you, what's the, whichever is your preference. Ah, you responded well. <laughs> and another tie. Look at that. But I'm still four up. <laughs> As I said, it's still probably not gonna matter with his eagle and whatnot. Because in the long run, well, I've got skill over luck. <laughs> Alright, DK. You do have a chance if you get really, really lucky and chip in all of your shots from off wherever you're hitting from onto the green and in the hole for eagles and albatrosses and stuff like that. I have faith in you, even with that tree in your way. <laughs> Maybe not that much faith, but you might have another another score coming somewhere in here. 
but we'll see. I'm gonna, because of the wind, I'm gonna knock down the trajectory here. And then I'm just gonna stop the ball on the hill and let it trickle down. And let's see, oh, it went too far! <laughs> well, maybe not, I mean, it's on the flat spot, but... <clears throat> I, th I thought I was gonna kick more left. Anyway, can you chip it in? Come on, DK, this, is, this may be your last hope! Yes! <laughs> okay, so he saved himself from another loss here. Because I'm definitely making this putt. And another tie, but the more ties there are, well, it doesn't really help him. <laughs> oh, I didn't move the cursor all the way over on the, the ball side. It should be okay. There's a lot of fairway there. Uh, but yeah, because I'm already ahead, ties don't help him. <laughs> If we tied every hole up until I think it'll be the, the f yeah 14th hole and then I, I we tie and or I win that one it'll be over because yeah <laughs> this is not enough holes left for him to recover by and I didn't want to leave myself on the down slope here but that is what I left myself I would have probably played a little bit more good wait, wait wait hold on hold on hold on but I probably play a little bit more uh, on the, uh, on the careful side if I was taking this super seriously, but considering that uh, the way that he played before, well, mm, I mean, considering how he's played thus far, eh, yeah. <laughs> I might as well just go with the flow now, whatever, and just kind of click through. <laughs> um, well, I've probably got my ego. So he's gonna have to do something. Can he albatross? Can he albatross? No! <laughs> that isn't even close. It's not even a le uh, like a layup or anything like that because he hit that pretty far offline and in the rough and yeah. Can he eagle this? No! Well, let's see if I make my putts. Maybe there's still hope for him now. Anyway, I moved it a little bit to the right. And... no, no hope. <laughs> Sorry, DK. Two to go. Uh, I'm gonna go with the e old power and go under the ball thing to increase my heights. And try and stop it just below the hole on the flat spot. Hopefully. <laughs> I, I hit it pretty crisp, so it should turn out well. Ooh, it's a little past the hole, but... That's, that's still an acceptable shot, <laughs> I would say. As long as I'm somewhere near the hole, I'll mm, probably make the putts. Trying to roll it in. Can you get a hole in one? Actually, this is looking really good. Look at this angle. Oh, no, not quite. I thought what it, what it was going to do is going to bounce off the, the, the side slope a little bit and maybe roll next to or in the hole, but nah. It had too much zip. Mmm... He can make this, but will he? I mean, it's, it's pretty straight overall. It just doesn't... Yeah, he didn't hit it hard enough. Because <clears throat> did you notice that the arrows kind of crisscross in their directions? Which means they pretty much kind of cancel themselves out, especially since the, uh, the, the ones close to him were larger. So kind of... Yeah. So that, that early portion that would cancel out part of the arrows... Uh, effect, I guess you could say, because of the speed. Not nearly as much of a factor there because the arrows are bigger there at the starts as they were, uh, I mean, in comparison to the ones nearer to the hole, so it evened out for the most part, and that's why I thought it was pretty straight. It looks straight too by the outcome, but. But anyway, dormy hole, and uh, we're only on hole 13. <laughs> that's not, it's not a very good sign for DK, I've got to say. I am. Probably going to win it here if I birdie. Uh, unless you can get this in. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna birdie because that's a pretty accessible pin location with this f small amount of wind here. Oh, 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 good efforts. But not good enough. Alright, let's see what I can do. <laughs> At least I don't think it's good enough. I might, I might flub it up, you never know. Let's see. Just try and control its spin out with some regular backspin and hope that I don't overshoot and go off the back of the green. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Nah. <laughs> Dropping and stopping 
very effective, and because it's a dormy hole, just automatically just tie the hole if I put out before him, and he might put out for it, because, well, sportsman- Oh, it doesn't on this one? Oh, interesting. Yeah, like in other Mario Golfs, there's like a sportsmanship thing, and that it just automatically assumed that he would make the, the next shot, if, you know, if it could end up as a tie. I mean, if, if there's no way to make it better than a tie, excuse me, so... Well, I win. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the experience points. 379 for that, that's... You know, you can level up character every time, like, did you notice that, it, that every time it loops around now, it's 350? Like, watch this, watch this. We're gonna go, we're gonna go, and it's gonna go 350, yeah! <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's pretty... Well, no, 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 no. I want to go and no. Well, actually, you know, forget it. I'm not gonna mess with. <laughs> I'm gonna waste more time than is necessary. Straighten the shot, and with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I will hopefully be prepared for the final part. <laughs>